let us solve another problem in the numbered generation series. So here the number will be the perfect number. So here is the problem for us. Find out all possible perfect numbers ranging from 2 to 1000. Now the question is coming in mind what is a perfect number. So just consider this value 28 and consider all its factors excluding the number itself because the number itself is a factor of the number. So, if you consider all its possible distinct factors, they are nothing but 1, 2, 4, 7 and 14. Just go on adding, you are getting back 28. So, in this way, if such numbers are there whose factor sum will be the number itself, then that would be a perfect number. So, here in between 2 to 1000, if I execute my program, then we are getting these numbers, 3 numbers we are having only that is 6, 28 and 496. 28 I have shown this one and if you go on doing the factor sum for this 6 and 496, you will be getting the same logic that the sum of factors is the number itself. Obviously, in the factor decisive logic, we are not considering the number itself. So, how to do this one? So, try to solve this one uh, at your end, write a respective program and get this output at your end. Try to uh, see all the videos which we have done in this number generation logic and try to get the logic from there and then try to implement this perfect number related problem. Otherwise, the demonstration is always for you. You just go for the demonstration. There I have shown you that how to write this code and how this code is getting executed and what are the logical explanations. So, here is the demonstration for you. Find out all possible perfect numbers ranging from 2 to 1000. So, this is the respective query today. And in this particular video, we are supposed to implement the same using C language. Perfect number is that very number whose sum of all factors of that number excluding the number itself is equal to the number itself. Let us go for one example for the better understanding. 28 is a perfect number as 28 is having the factors like 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28 itself. But it has been told that excluding the number itself, we should consider all the factors. So here the factors will be 1, 2, 4, 7 and 14. Now if you go on adding them, so 14 plus 7, 21 plus 4, 25 plus 3, so we are having this 28. So 28 is a good example of a perfect number. In this way, we are supposed to find out all possible perfect numbers between 2 to 1000. So, int main, so it is starting my main function. We have defined some variables as required and we are executing one for loop where the n is the loop control variable ranging from 2 to 1000 as it was demanded. Okay, sum is equal to 1 because I know that 1 is a common factor for all. So, I am keeping sum is equal to 1. I am starting getting the factorial calcul factor calculation starting from 2. So, for i is equal to 2, i less than square root of n and i plus plus. So, I shall range from 2 to square root of n less than that. Up to that, I shall be calculating this particular for loop. For i is equal to 2, i less than square root of n, i plus plus. That means, this loop will go on executing from i is equal to 2 to any value which is lesser than square root of n. So, if n percentage i is equal to is equal to 0, that means i is a factor because the remainder of the division is 0, then sum is equal to sum plus i will be one factor and obviously another factor will be n by i. So, each and every factor will come in pairs. So, that is why if i is a factor, then n percentage i will be equal to 0 and in that case with the sum I shall add i and also n by i. So, if square root of n is equal to is equal to int of square root of n, that means if n is a perfect square number because the square root of n and its integer part is equal to the square root of n itself. So, that indicates that n is a perfect square number. In those cases, the square root will be, all, will be also one of the factors. So, sum is equal to sum plus int of square root of n. And then in this case, if the sum thus obtained, adding all the factors, excluding the number itself, if it is equal to n, 
then n will be a perfect number. In this way, I can easily find out all possible perfect numbers in the range 2 to 1000. Here 28 is a perfect number. If my program works well, then I shall be getting 28 as one of the solutions. So now this is my output. This is the program, this is my output. So 6 is a perfect number. Let me check. 6 is having the factors like 1, 2 and 3 and 6 itself. So excluding 6, I'm getting 1 plus 2 plus 3 and that is our 6. 28 we observe and in this way 496 will be another perfect number within the range 2 to 1000. I think you are getting this logic how the, how the perfect numbers within a specified range can get calculated, can be found out. So please watch our all videos in this series for the better understanding and for the development of your logical approach towards the program. Leave your comments in the comment block and thanks for watching this video.